Got this at work today. Don't be fooled. Don't live off the tips of generous customers. Fight for a fair wage from your boss instead. Dude, it's not the place to share your message. You know what that's going to do for them? Absolutely nothing. You think they're going to actually have some sort of influence and they're going to be like, Hey, man, uh, so this customer left me this tip and I think I should give it to you. And you just assume their boss is going to be like, Oh, yeah, that customer is super knowledgeable and kind. I'm actually going to heed their advice. You know, that's never going to work. Clearly, you went out knowing that this was just going to ruin somebody's day. And then you act like you're proud of it and pretend you're doing something good. Newsflash, you're not. What's going on, modern chodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash cringetopia. Let's get into it. They got me an Android. I thought it was an iPhone. I'm actually gonna end it all. Bro, just be grateful you got a phone. I mean, Come on, you got an Android. Oh, by the way, those are still thousand plus dollars. It's not like, oh, I got some random flip phone, which, oh, by the way, is still plenty good. Like You're like 10 years old, bro. Calm down. It's like, <laughs> at some point, just be grateful for what you have. Yeah, sure. You Maybe an iPhone would have been more ideal to you. Then get yourself an iPhone. It's like... It's like there's some people are just so ungrateful. They don't realize the work that their parents put in to get them the best that they can reasonably afford. And it's got to feel horrendous when you get your kids something that you just spent a thousand dollars on and they just go, nah, you must hate me. Oh, no, please stop. Daryl Brooks, a man who ran into six people with his SUV, says he feels dehumanized and treated like a monster. Huh, that's interesting. It's almost like when you act like one, that's how you get treated. And I know some people are like, well, it's still not fair. But I mean, at some point, it's like this dude's just trying to get some sympathy so he can be behind bars for less time. Honestly, it's probably mostly nonsense. I mean, I don't know the specifics, but I do know enough about these cases where it's like, oh, let's throw a pity party and try to try to bring up every nice thing this person's ever done and and over exaggerate everything else to try to get them you know 10 years instead of 50 uh, you know at some point it's like bro you knew what you were doing now it's time to buck up you got caught if you didn't want to do that time you shouldn't have decided well i know it's going to be fun ramming into people neil degrasse tyson in a mirror you can kiss yourself only on the lips you can kiss yourself in the mirror, but only on the lips. Hey, just an FYI, in a mirror, you can only kiss yourself on the lips. For narcissists only, laws of reflection require that if you kiss yourself in a mirror, it always be on the lips. Another thought to disturb restful sleep, especially if you are vain. In a mirror, you only kiss yourself on the lips. <laughs> but bro, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson needs to get some. I mean, bro. We, we get it. You think you're the smartest person to ever live. And yeah, you're probably way smarter than most of us watching this video right now. That's cool. But this is weird. If you're super smart, you should know that this is weird. And that people can see your past tweets. And <laughs> Buddy's tweeting this out like every few months as if it's normal. This is not normal, bro. Bro, we done made the teacher quit. <laughs> Yeah, that's hilarious. You, you, you messed with your teacher so much. Somebody that tried to do their best for you and, and actually cared and, and tried to push you to do your best. You, you messed with them so much that you made them quit in the middle of the day. <laughs> that's so awesome. Dude, th this kid posted this video and he's proud of it. And they're laughing. It was like, dude, this, this man decided, oh, as a career path, I'm going to spend... 50 grand going to college so that I can make 30 grand teaching, but it's fine because I like the kids. And then the kids act like this, like, bro, come on, cut your teachers some slack. I mean, I understand some teachers are horrendous and shouldn't be teachers. This dude did not seem like one of those. And it just seemed like 
you're just trying to make his day miserable and that's your goal every single time you go into class. At some point, buddy, you, you got to grow up. I get it. You're in high school and you think, ha ha, that's funny. My teacher had a breakdown, but it, it's really not funny. Like, it's just cringe. Everybody jumping on the anime wave now. Remember when we used to be weird for liking anime? <laughs> you weren't weird for liking anime. You were weird for trying to do their special things during recess. <laughs> Oh, bro, that's so true. I mean, I'm still not into anime. It's just not my thing. But yeah, definitely. I never was not friends with somebody because they said, oh, I like anime. It's just like, if anybody does anything weird, it's like, bro, what are you doing? And when you go, Kamehameha or whatever it is, and just randomly throughout the day, it's like, all right, we're being a little bit weird. Oh, where'd you get that from? Oh, anime? Okay. See the correlation? I'll still be your friend, but I am going to call you weird when you do that. These fake TikTok videos, I mean, clearly staged, but it, imagine this wasn't staged and somebody actually thought, oh, I know a great way to propose. I'm going to ruin a $40,000 vehicle. Yeah, that'll go over well. Th that'll make her want to say yes. <laughs> I mean, dude, this is, some of these proposals are interesting. And way over the top, to say the least. But, uh, I mean, I guess I don't know their relationship. But for me, it's just like, can we just do something normal? Or, like, I proposed to you on a beach or where we first met. Uh, it seems like now it's like a competition to see who can have the best proposal. I, I don't want to have the best proposal. I want it to mean something to me. I don't want to do it so that I can show off to the world how great I am at proposing. PETA launches gruesome online shop with goods made of human leathers. Bro, they don't know what they're doing here. They're, they're basically just encouraging people <laughs> to get this stuff. I mean, I know people saw this and they went, oh yeah, that's cool. That's edgy and actually got it. I mean, PETA has to be the most disconnected from reality thing ever. They have no idea what they're doing. If, if anything, they probably do more bad than good for their case. That comes with painted handles and a block number. That's what this dude said when the chick that he's doing work for, before they agreed that he would do the work, said, hey, could you do a lower price? So basically, dude said, yeah, I'll do it for $200. She said, oh, can you do 180? He goes, yeah. And then because she asked for 180, he decided, oh, I'm going to absolutely ruin this chick's doors. Ha ha, oh, so funny. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna incriminate myself by posting it all on TikTok. It's like, dude, you are so dim-witted, you couldn't realize that what you're doing now is number one, probably gonna cost you a lot of business, and number two, get her a complete, full, and utter refund, and probably then some. <laughs> and if this was some sort of marketing, horrendous marketing, bro, horrendous. You agreed on the price. It, it, here's what a good business person would say. Oh, no, sorry. I can't do it for that. And fuck, mm, gone on with their day. It's like, ugh. People are so, ugh, aggravating. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash cringetopia. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra. And it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.